This is a middle-aged female who came with some pelvic pain for which an MRI was obtained. As we scroll down on the T2 fat-saturated images, we can see that there is a mass in the presacral space. Um, looks to have pretty well-defined borders. It's uh, reasonably hyper-intense on the T2 weighted images, but not as bright as, uh, as a simple cyst. It contains a few septations within it. On the uh, T1 fat sat pre-contrast images, we can see this mass again, and we note that it has some hyperintense T1 content within it, suggesting that there's some proteinaceous or hemorrhagic debris within this lesion. We then get our post-contrast images with subtraction. To eliminate that hyperintense T1 signal, we can see that the thin septations within it demonstrate minimal enhancement, but really, there's no soft tissue components associated with this. So really, we have a multicystic mass in the presacral space in a middle-aged female with some hyperintense T1 content there's a number of things this could be in, in terms of differential diagnosis, but this imaging appearance is quite classic for something called a tail gut cyst or a retrorectal hematoma. This is essentially a benign entity that really represents an embryonic hindgut remnant. Complications are, are quite few and far between, but do include infection and also potentially malignant transformation to a number of uh, different histologies has been reported in the literature. It's quite rare, but it can happen. So if you do see a lesion that looks like this with the uh, possibility of it being a tail gut cyst or retrorectal hematoma, you typically advise that it uh, should be surgically evaluated for a section because of that risk for malignancy.